Final Fantasy XI is the game I always wanted to play as a kid, but unfortunately was never able to during its prime. I was too young to experience the magic of its community, let alone even be able to afford it. After all, I was only about... 10 to 15 or so when it was in its prime. When everyone else was playing World of Warcraft, I was dreaming of making friends and adventuring in the mysterious world of Vanadil. Fast forward to 2020, I finally dove into Final Fantasy XI as an adult. Retail, as we call it now, is the modern day version of Final Fantasy XI. It's still a great game, but it's nowhere near as social as it used to be, at least in its beginning levels. I enjoyed what it had to offer, but I still felt like I missed out on the heydays of the game. Well, the itch came back a couple weeks ago, I wanted to jump back into Final Fantasy. I was booting up Final Fantasy X on my PlayStation, and started to think about Final Fantasy XI again specifically. I subbed for a month, got my fix from retail, but still felt like something was missing. I thought there has to be a way to relive the classic version, right? Of course there is. Enter the Final Fantasy XI fan server community. I did some googling, watched a couple of YouTube videos, and installed a project called Horizon XI, or Horizon 11. And I think I understand more more so now, why Eleven is so beloved. Let's talk about my time with Horizon. Horizon XI. What is it? Let's give some context first. The popular opinion of many FF11 veterans is that the 75 level cap era of Final Fantasy XI is considered to be the golden days. Players were forced to group up and form communities during those days because everything was just so challenging. Questing, unlocking jobs, leveling up, crafting, every bit of progress felt like an accomplishment. And since you had to interact with the game's community, you inevitably formed strong friendships. Horizon XI, along with other classic vision projects, aim to capture the game's difficulty during that era. The thing that is special about Horizon is its subtle changes to the game, such as job balancing, weapon balancing, and some other small tweaks that will hopefully put a spin on the game for the veterans. Obviously, as a FF11 newbie myself, those changes won't really mean much, but for those entrenched in Final Fantasy XI, that alone may be the reason you jump in. Aptly dubbed Era Plus, Horizon plans to maintain the server as a 75 era version with balance changes and eventual progression into the game's later released expansions. This is apparently pretty ambitious, considering most fan servers in the FF11 community haven't tried anything like a classic plus approach. Needless to say, Horizon has become quite popular within the community for obvious reasons, but what is the classic experience really? like. Well, a lot of much bigger YouTubers than myself will describe Final Fantasy XI as being It was ruthless. Like, day, two days worth of time. Oh god, the game was harsh, dude. So let me say, this game was incredibly difficult. I mean, insane. It was really, really hard. It Final Fantasy XI released in an era of time sync MMORPGs, games designed to completely disrespect your time and dominate your life. Classic era Final Fantasy XI is that type of game. Doing literally anything in the game from crafting, leveling up, or even adventuring from town to town can take hours of gameplay because everything is so slow. Movement is slow, crafting animations are slow, combat is slow. Zones are so incredibly vast that it takes forever with your slow walking speed to trek across it. But because everything is so slow, anytime you achieve something, it feels amazing. High level players are regarded highly because of how much time and dedication it takes to reach that gameplay level. Horizon is based on this slow grinding crawl, even with the balance changes. So why the hell would anyone ever bother playing such a slow grindy game? Well, apparently quite a lot of people in enjoy that difficult grind, me included. Because the game is difficult, the game essentially forces you to group with other players to accomplish your goals, which inadvertently will have you making friends. This is why this era of Final Fantasy XI is so highly regarded in the MMORPG genre, along with other retro MMORPGs. That sense of camaraderie banding together and making friends naturally happens in 
in a game like this. So compared to retail, Horizon has the experience curve and progression of that era with some quality of life changes. So first off, I can't even believe I didn't comment on this in my original Final Fantasy XI video. One of the main frustrations of playing Final Fantasy XI is the god-awful Play Online launcher. Play Online is a program that Square Enix had for Final Fantasy XI back in the day. It was sort of a social media platform before social media even existed. Players could message each other, check news on Final Fantasy XI, and heck, even play Final Fantasy IX's Tetra Master with each other. Take that, Final Fantasy XIV. The problem with Play Online is that it wasn't an optional piece of software. You have to install it to then install Final Fantasy XI, even to this day. Yeah, even though all the functions of Play Online is practically defunct, you still have to install Play Online to play retail. Well, Horizon does away with all of that. Instead, it has a simple game launcher like most MMOs. That is awesome. Peter. The launcher also has built-in settings like adjusting graphics, changing music options, or launching the game with specific add-ons or mods like a mini-map. Stop. My penis can only get so erect. Believe it or not, a lot of basic settings like that is not easy to change on the retail version of Final Fantasy XI. So seeing a simple slick launcher like Horizons provides a breath of fresh air coming from retail. I also recommend using a controller to play Final Fantasy XI. The game was made with a controller in mind, so menu navigation and the overall feel of the game is vastly improved by using a controller to play. One of the biggest things Horizon enforces is the ruling of only allowing players to play one character at a time. Dual boxing is not allowed. This means every player you see in game is a singular person. Ideally, no one is playing multiple characters at once, which encourages more party play. Of course, I'm sure there are people who do get around this, but the fact that they do try to enforce single boxing is definitely something I align with. I'd rather see actual players playing and partying with each other rather than everyone keeping to themselves and just playing multiple characters. There are some other changes too, and the full list of things is listed on their website. Horizon also has several built-in systems on their website. Logging into your account shows all of your characters, their job levels, crafting levels, what they are wearing, if you have any items waiting in your mailbox, and auction house information. The fact that retail doesn't have any of these basic quality of life changes baffles me but I love that it's here on Horizon. Because Play Online is obviously taken out of the equation here, character creation is a bit different. You'll have all the same options like Dalka, Hume, Mithra, and such, but instead of the character creation screen that plays all the weird, cringy animations, oh, hi, Mark. you are met with a static image that shows options of what you'd like to create straight from the website. Even though it's a simpler system, it works. And as long as it allows us to skip Play Online, I couldn't care less. Less. Logging in, you are met with the same intro cutscene as retail, and depending on your starting city, you'll probably have a few goals you'll want to set for yourself. Getting your MOG satchel for extra storage space is definitely one of the first things you'll want to do, and is done by joining the game's Discord server and following their guide on unlocking it. I'd suggest joining a link shell and unlocking subjob as soon as possible as well. In retail, you can get away with fighting things without subjob being unlocked, since trusts do essentially all the heavy lifting for you. But in classic Final Fantasy XI, subjob is basically mandatory if you want to be as effective as you can be. My classic journey started in Windurst and speedrunning these goals. Now that I've established myself on Horizon, I've been making money fishing, leveling my crafting skills, and slowly building my job levels. The Link shell I joined is also incredibly helpful and has really cemented my enjoyment for Horizon. I actually find myself planning the next things I want to do each time I log in. If you've never played the classic period of Final Fantasy XI, Horizon is a good place to start. There are several other projects you can check out as well if you are looking for things like custom content, increased experience rates, or heck, even a server that is completely unchanged. Obviously, the classic experience of Final Fantasy XI won't be for everyone, but if you want to journey back in time and see how much of a grind MMOs used to be, well then look no further. If you do happen to hop into Horizon, comment down below or shoot me a message in game and say hello. I've been playing quite a bit in my free time. Blues
loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you want to support my content. Social media links are down below in the description if you want to follow me there. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.